Hello. Hi, Mario. One second, okay. <clears throat> Was that? No, you can. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do tomorrow, Ernie? Uh, tomorrow we'll have to do it at seven thirty p.m. Okay. In case I don't make it again, uh, can you do the hosting? Absolutely. Remember, because it's two shiurim. You have to stop the recording completely, not pause it, stop it, and then start again. Absolutely. Okay. Nice, uh, Alan. A good morning. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Good morning everybody. Oh, good. Beautiful day today. Wow. What a luck, marvelous day. Yep. What I, was, uh, I was in the Beverlywood community. Oh, boy. Well, a treat for them. Did you speak? Did you dive it or speak or something? Yeah, I, uh, I had mops here. <laughs> oh, wow. Good. That's terrific. Like, you know the story, the guy, the guest comes to the shul and the guest, and they give him a V. So he turns to the guy next to him. He says, you know, in my shul, they give a dog a V. He says, we do here also. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of mop <laughs> Was that today we had today we had the the rabbi the new rabbi Davin the first time. Oh is he a good fellow? Very nice. Wonderful. Oh nice. Sh Shachris. Oh nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, we are we are recording already. Okay. So we're on Khafe. You don't have a ladder here. Just tell me. No ladder. No ladder on the side of the house. I stole that. I'll get it for you. Okay, Alan, mute. Okay, we're a Masech the Beitza Chafe. Amravun Amrav. Hasoicher Amasamai Meir Vyantov. Somebody digs a like irrigation ditch between a river and his field. He does it Erev Yontif. In the morning, he sees in his irrigation fish. He, he, but he closed the irrigation ditch um, from when, when Yontif started the night before. Therefore, I guess the fish couldn't swim out. The fish that were already there couldn't swim out. They had must have gotten their air of yontu. So therefore, hishki mumatsubadogi mutarim. It's considered that they were muhan, that they had come already from air of yontu. They couldn't get out. But you didn't trap it on yontu because you you closed it off right before Yontif started. So that's mutter. From these words we learn, a animal nested, set up his dwelling place in like an oasis that's a place that is watched. And therefore, if any child is born in that nest, it won't be able to go out. 
So we can't escape. And it's very easy to trap him because you don't need any other zimun. You can't go out. So it's considered muhan. So ain't a zimun, and it's a, it's considered also that it's not muktzah. Om Rav Nachman Nafal Chavin Berav Rav Our friend fell into a complicated sug. It's not so poshut. Ikid Yami Om Rav Arvuna Midiv Rabbeinu Niel Mordechai Shikin Ben Pardes Ain't a Tzricha Zimun. Om Rav Nachman Nafal Bar Chavin, the son of our friend, fell into a big sug here because he makes a distinction. Hossam Lokav and Maisa. The if an animal just decided to nest in your garden, you haven't done any specific Maisa. The Chaya did it. So it's hard, it would be hard to argue that you did a Maisa Zimun. Hachakav and Maisa. The low boy Zimun, and then you're therefore. In the case where you closed off the irrigation ditch, there already you did a mice. And the Gemara is going to say that it requires more active zeman. You do have to go out and identify the animal or pick it up, pick up the animal. It needs an active zeman. The seaport drawer, so for example, seaport drawer is a regular bird, you know, a, a free bird that flies around. You have to put a mark on its wing because maybe when you have to put a mark on its wing because maybe when a yontif comes, you'll end up taking a different bird. It's not the one that you prepared. And this is testimony that we heard from the zoo goes hundreds of years before Shmaya Vavtayu. So to Yufta, so it's a kasha on what we what we say. Afraid the Gemara me boy Zimun. Does it really need an act of Zimun Vatanya? I'm Rishon Ben Elazar. Moidin be Shama be Silal. Al sheiz minu betoch hakenu matzuf ne hakenu. Let's say you went there of Yontif to a nest, and you designated birds that you wanted to use on Yontif. How, and then you come back the next day and you find some birds in front of the nest. We learned before Shasurin, we assume that the original birds flew away. These are new ones. That's by the special kind of doves. Birds that nested in uh, various nesting areas. Geese and chickens. V'yoyne hardisios, doves of herd of heron, and a chaya shekin of a pardes, mutarin ve'ein srichan zimun. They're already considered as if they're trapped. They don't require any other act of zimun. It, again, it says v'tzipor dvorat srich lekasher b'knafek deshot tazcha biima. You have to mark the wing of the regular bird so that you don't mix it up with its mother. V'ham kusharim v'amenu onanim. If the heir of Yontif, a guy came in and shook one of the birds, he, made, he did an act of hachana, and therefore he acquired it as a hill, as a meilchos kinyan. If he did all these things in a ditch or a house or a cave, it's considered zimun. Uva ilanos in trees, it would be osur. That's because that would be a different problem. We're concerned you're going to climb the tree and, and pull off a twig. If someone had done an act of Kenyan already and you took it, you can't take it because of Geza. Geza. But whatever we say from this Bryson, we learn that you don't know, you don't, it's considered already Zimur. Which goes against what we said.
a young child uh, that has just been born can't run away. So that's mutter without zimun, if it was born there. But be'ima, because the mother can run away, it's not considered zimun, the fact that, it, that it's there. It showed up and you didn't do an act. Afraid to gumara ima be zimun sagilo. Ima is not enough zimun. Say to ma'ayas, you have to hunt it, trap it. Zimun alone is not going to be enough. And Allah that for Yisra. I divided bidi. We're not talking about the mother. We're talking about the young chaya that was born in this nest. Ha begina smucha le'ir. Depends though. If the garden. is right next to the city and you can just walk into it and take it. So you have a idea that it's easy, then it's considered mucha. But if the garden is not, then it would require zim. Does, does, does uh, also Mespano apply to Ophus as well as the Mahema? I don't believe so. Because it's, see, why would you have to, it says over here, um, uh, it says Kadesh Lo Tisa Tishalef Bo Ima. It seemed to imply that no, it the, would be. no, because the Ima can run away. The the the, the, oh. the, the reason is a difference. The child that was just born can't run away. That, that is not that has nothing to do with Oso Vesim. Oh, I see. It's okay. Shore Shore Okesef Oasis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The Hayashivat Yamim Tachat Imo. Right. Okay. So those are five. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Mishnah. You have an animal that's sick. The person is afraid that it's going to die and it'll be in the veil and you can't eat it. So he quickly wants to shecht it. Maybe they'll find it kosher and they can eat it and they won't lose the money so you can shaft it but on yontiv because i sleep you have to have enough time in the day to shaft it and then process the animal and then also roast it at least a kazai is to be able to eat it otherwise you shafted it for no purpose I guess they would eat raw meat right from the area where they shechted in the neck. So as long as he could eat a, a piece of raw kazayas meat from the neck, that's enough too. So Rabbi Kiva is mekel. If you shechted an animal in the field, so they used to mount the animal on a stick and you know, two people would carry it into the city, one in the front, one in the back. That looks too much like a Maisa Chol. Avsha Milsihi, Mazazel beyond it. It's like an Uvda de Chol. Aval maybe beyond it, Evorim Evorim. If you want to butcher it into pieces and bring it in piece by piece, that you're allowed to do. On Rabbi Barama, Hefshit Minituach Ba'oilon that when you shecht a korban ola, the Torah requires you to remove the hide. And the din is, the butcher is the same thing. You have to remove the hide and cut it into pieces before you can eat it. By the korban ola, it's an achila gavoa. And even so, the Torah told you you got to remove the hide before you put on the mizbeah. So, Bachilas head yot, you have to remove the hide and cut it into pieces as well. By the way, the halacha is you have to, you have enough, by a behemoth misukenes, you need enough time to roast a kazayas meat, not like Rabbi Akiva. You have to even, you even salt if you don't, even you if you don't, salt yeah, it. you have to salt it 18 minutes. Uh, not if you roast it, though. If you roast it, it's different, dinim, but yeah. but yeah. even though 
the Ramos says, even if you don't have time to strip the hide and to check it, you, st- you, st- you, you, you can still check it on Yontif. So I'm old, you need the time to have to have shot to Bidika. Some are makel only by goats and by calves where trephus are not Matsuyas there. That's what the Mishnah Burris says. Mikanlim the Torah der Cheretz. There are certain manners, etiquette that we learn. Person should need the meat before the animal has been stripped. Basically, that allows you then to check to make sure it's not a trefa. Now, la fuke my What what is this coming to exclude? Ima la fuke ravuna. Are you saying that that you need have shifni to say we don't hold like ravuna? Dam ravuna behema bechayeha. You have the din of Chazaka, and a live animal is Becheska sister. You're not allowed to eat Avram and Achai until you know that it was shechted properly. Until you know that the animal has been shechted properly, there's a Cheska sister. Now, let's say you find your shechted meat. Right, nishchata, the cheskas heteromedic. Most animals are not a trefa. So the chazaka is that if you find a piece of geshachted meat, the chazaka is that it's heter, it's mutter, unless you know achi vadolcha kama nitrefa, bamen nitrefa, unless you find evidence that it was a trefa. You don't, and you don't need a, a bedika miuchedes to know if it's a trefa. The chazaka is kosher. So perhaps Rami Barav is going against Ravuna and saying, no, you need Hefshut Benituach in order to check and do a Bedika to make sure it's not trade before you eat it. And that's just, in your day, it's the same din. You have a geshechted animal, it's, it's Becheska's heter. How could you say that Rami Barabo is going against Ravuna? We have a mission supporting Ravuna, this not. Rabbi Kiva Oimer. Right? Rabbi Kiva said you can already eat a piece of raw meat from the neck. Well, obviously they didn't do Hefshit Vinituach. If 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 they, if he's take if he's telling you just take a piece of kazais from the neck, my lav the base tvichasa mamish, which means the Mishnah of Rabbi Kiva supporting Ravuna's din, that's Pecheska Setter, and you don't have to do a check. Of course, there's no, there's no riot from there. Mokam should toivachas achilasa. It's from the, you, you have to eat it from the intestines. That's where it's like cooked, where the achila is cooked. That's what it means. And therefore, you have to, you do need hefshit to get to the intestines. Rabbi Kiva, though, said, no, it's not the intestines, it's actually the neck. So Rabbi Kiva seems to be supporting this concept of Ravuna that Keshach the meat is Beches Kaseter. Ela Rami Barada Oyrechara Kamash Falon. He's not telling you a din in Allah that there's an Isser to eat of the meat before you do have shit when you That's the minic der cheres. It's not, it's not because of an iser trefus. Kiritanya. We're gonna see other sort of minhage der cheres. It's not an iser of a heter issue. It's a, it's a minig of the way people did things. Person shouldn't eat onion and garlic from the head of it, but rather from the leaves. Look at what Rashi says, Botzel, Tzibola, 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 right? It's a, it's Tzibola is, is uh, in Yiddish. 
Onions, onions. I'm saying tzibul, tzibula. I'm just saying Rashi uh, uses that. Ra Rashi usually is is using old French, but you can see words of Yiddish and German coming in as well. No, no, no but yeah, Rashi, Rashi, the, that tzibula must have come from that Rashi. So the, the Yiddish came afterwards, believe me. It didn't come before that. No, no, what, what I'm <laughs> Yiddish developed over a thousand years. It's a mixture yeah. of Hebrew, French, German. You know, right. this polyglot. So what I'm saying is you see even Rashi is beginning to use Yiddish right. words. I mean, remember, Rashi studied in Germany. Worms, mm -hmm. he was worms. in Worms, then he went back to Twa. I was, I sat in Rashi's chair in Worms. There's, wow. a, there's a chair made out of stone that is, that was the yeshiva in Worms that's purported that Rashi sat there. And then he went back to Troyes in France. But so I'm just saying it's interesting that he, he's giving you a, a German word or Yiddish okay. word, whatever. And he ate it from the head. He's a glutton. Person shouldn't drink his cup of wine in one shluk. He's a glutton, glutton when it comes to. To, to drinking. Gazler, it says here. Gazler. Yeah, I'm saying whatever uh, a glutton by food, gargarin is by wine. Torah Bona, Shoisa Koisavasachas, or is a gargarin? Shnaim Derecherz. So if you have a glass of wine and you drip it, you drink it in two sips, that's Derecherz. That's the way it should be drunk. Shloisha, if you're like a Fine schmecker, migase aruach. You know that, that's you're taking too much time. Abba, another din. Chatsuva miktag raglayan derishia. Chatsuva is a kind of plant that used to be planted on the borders between two landowners. It, its roots went straight down and doesn't spread out to the sides. Rashi says. So, so therefore, it's very clear to the, this is my territory, this is your territory. And Yoshua used this in Eretz Yisrael when he marked off, you know, this is this Shevet, this is that Shevet, this is this person, etc. And basically, it cuts off the legs of Rishoim because uh, people go against it, are gazlanim. Nitiya Makata the Katsvaya Udubale Nidos. When you plant a fruit tree, so we know you have to wait three years because the first three years of a tree, the fruit is Orla. So you need patience. So planting a fruit tree sort of gives a bad name to the butchers, right? Who don't wait to strip the animal before you start eating it. And people have relations with their wives that are still in need. They don't, they have no patience. They don't wait till they come back to the mikvah, from the mikvah. Tormos is like a vegetable that's very hard and you have to cook it many times until it softens and you can eat it. And so Nancho Yisrael here actually refers to Klai Yisrael. Shunamar, that Klai Yisrael were very tough people. This puzzle comes from Shoftim, those of us who are in the Nachshir, by Yosifu Bnei Yisrael, Asos HaRabi Nei Hashem. They continue to worship Avodah Zor, Vayavdu Esa Bailim, Esa Shtaros, Veselo Yaram, Veselo Heit Sidon, Veselo Yimoa, Veselo Yimoa, Veselo Yimoa, Veselo Yimoa, Veselo Yimoa, that's seven different Avodah Zoras. Now, it says they left Hashem. Any Odesh love do that we know that they didn't worship Hashem. So, this Tormus, which is this vegetable, you have to cook it seven times, but then it becomes sweet. It was eaten as a dessert. 
But my children worshipped seven different Avodah Means Klai Yisrael is not even like the Turmus, who at least becomes edible after seven cookings. Here they worshipped Avodah and they didn't worship Hashem at all. In fact, why was Torah given to Klai Yisrael? They're a uh, they're chutzpahdik. They're azus. They have azus ponim, and they needed the Torah to calm them down. Otherwise, they would have been uh, a terror for the nations of the world. This is from Zosap Bracha that from his right hand. It's like fire. We should have given them Klai Yisrael a, a law in from fire. The their their nature is like fire. In fact, no other nation would be able to stand up against the Jewish people if it wasn't for the Torah that calmed their nature. There are three things in the universe that are Az. They're difficult to win. There he gives us a, a French word, Andrish. From the old French, it hard hard to destroy them. Yisrael ba'umos, kelev b'chayos, a dog, tarnagol boyfus, and a chicken by birds. The yeshoyim af ez b'vehem adaka, even a goat. Like a billy goat's very, very tough. Yeah, show him aft sloth be lonus, the caper bush. Shachta besoda le even bemot. The Mishnah said if you shechted uh, an animal in the field and you want to bring it into the city, you shouldn't mount it on two sticks. And then, you know, two people carried in, one in the front, one in the back. That's uh, too much, looks like uvde de chok. On Yontif, a blind person shouldn't go out with his with his uh, walking stick. Rashi says, it's a, it's a zulos of the Yontif. The shepherd with his like shepherd's crook. Kisei is like a you know, they used to transport the, uh, the king or important people in these sedan chairs, right? Mm -hmm. two, two people in front, two people in the back, and there's a chair, and they would carry him in the public. In the, in the, certainly in the Roman era, we, we see pictures of that. So that you didn't go out like that on Yontif. Whether it's a, a man or a woman. There was a, a Tamil Chacham in our neighborhood. They did take him out in this kind of sedan chair. He was the post If the public needs him, he's going to give the public drusha, right? Then, then he can't walk any other way, or this is the way he is used to be transported, then it's permitted. The Samchur Abuseinu al divrei Achi Shakya, they Chachami relied on the testimony of Achi Shakya to Omar, Ana Apikta Ravuna Mihini Lishili Mishilini. I used to carry in one of these chairs Ravuna from Hini to Shili and backwards from Shili back to Hini. We carried Shmuel. So now 
The halach is if Rabbim Trichlo, you're allowed to do it. Omer of Nachman the Chama Barada Shliach Tzion. Chama Barada was a Shliach Tzion, I guess. It was a Meshulach from Tzion who came to collect. Right. He was a Shliach of Yeshivas in Eretz Yisrael. And he would come from Eretz Yisrael to Bovel, go back. He saw the Chlaus and they told him, when you go back, Akivizil Asulmaditsor. Go to, to Tyre, right, which is a town, a Phoenician town on the border of, you know, in Lebanon, on the border of the Mediterranean. Go visit Rav Yaakov Varidi. What's, what's your halacha regarding this kisei business? Meanwhile, the by the time he got there, Rav Yaakov Varidi had died. Kisalik, he found Ashkechel Rav Zrika. What's the halach regarding this sedan share? You shouldn't lift it above your shoulders. That's too much of a burden. Right, where, where they carried people even on their shoulders. That is a zilzul b'chad. It means they should hold it by it with their hands, but not that not too high. Rav Nachman allowed Yalta, I think Yalta was his wife, to go out with the Salunki chair. Shani Yalta de Beyasa. She was afraid that she would fall. So she, she needed a very special kind of transportation. They also carried Amem or Marzutra that way because of fear. Some say, there was such a crush of the people that they had to lift him up high, otherwise he would have been trampled. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow night, uh, we will learn 